Hello, hello, hello. You know what? I actually think I should scoop my mic a little closer. I'm sorry for the boom sound. There we go. How's that? A little better? <laughs> hello. Hello, hello, hello. Oh my gosh. Um, this has been a very, very cold winter. <laughs> and I'm speaking as someone that lives where it doesn't snow. So I know some of you folks that are dealing with snow right now instead of rain are side-eyeing me going, yeah, mm -hmm, sure. But it's very cold and it's had me be very sick. Hi, Cole. Hi, Cole. So it's been hard to kind of justify streaming when I get sick because that affects my asthma and it makes it hard to breathe, let alone talk. But I have today off. I was feeling a little bit better. I have a lot of catching up to do on the patch 6.55 that came out a few weeks ago. So we're going to do that now while I have time. And I'm capable of speech. <laughs> so, the quest we've got to do is when one door closes. So let's go open that door. Is that? I don't know if that's... Because I know that there's also Hildebrand stuff that I need to catch up on, but I haven't been streaming that on here since I started back up last summer, so I'm probably just going to do that on my own. I'm sure there's plenty of places where you can see the hilarity that is Hildebrand. I did the Valentine's quest just a moment ago. It's very short. I was kind of sad they don't have that, like, challenge where you and another person, either someone you queue with or someone they randomly slap you with, do, like, a little maze together and you have to kind of, like, minimize the amount of time the bond between you is broken. But they didn't bring that back this year, which I'm kind of sad about, but well, maybe they didn't think people were doing it anymore since it's pretty old like they did bring it back once or twice before i think but they didn't bring it back this time oh well oh look it's little as dia so cute oh god lazatan home ah alessandra one of my clerks was just here with a message for you the students of Valdesian request your presence in Charlian at your earliest convenience. Indebted as I am to your friends, I had hoped that I too might be of service, but it is you alone that they require. If you've no pressing business, pray make your way to the Valdesian Annex at once. Ojika awaits your arrival. Okay. In the meantime, I shall continue showing Ashdaya the city. From notable landmarks to the people's lives, there is still much more for her to see. Farewell for now, my friend. <clears throat> I look forward to the day we set forth on another adventure together. Bye! So we go to Charlene then. Yes, cool, Charlian. Yeah, Charlian. Yeah, yeah. All right. This way. Meow. What are you wanting? You want to come up here? You bored, cool? Yeah, he's going to come. Go on. Go on. There you go. Good boy. Just don't... Don't bonk the mic, okay? <laughs> What's funny is, since I have a two-screen setup, he's kind of gone from looking to the, from at the main screen to looking at the second screen. <laughs> yes, you have views galore now, Cole. Views galore. 
A warm and hearty welcome to you, Alessandra. I gather you received our message? See, now you're blocking the text. How about you go up here, Cole? Go up here. There you go. Yeah, up there. Come on. Good boy. He likes sitting on top of my computer tower. I have a I have fans that blow up, so I'm not worried about him doing that. Should put my phone on vibrate though while I have it. There we go. Please wait here while I fetch Kryl and Graha. Okie dokie. Your hair looks cute, Crow. Thank you for coming on such short notice. And forgive us for not sending for you soon, so soon. There, there, there. Read, right? And forgive us for sending for you so soon after your trials in the void, to say nothing of your grueling battle against the Twelve. Now then, we aren't actually the ones who require your presence, but Arendelle. He stopped by recently, you see, and asked us to reach out to you on his behalf. Hmm? I imagine you're as surprised as we are, given that he was supposed to be away on a long expedition. Something must have necessitated a change in his plans. All he would tell me is that there's someone whom he wishes Alessandra to meet. He also mentioned that he would be tending to business at the studium. Shall we look for him there? Sure. Bye! To the studium! Anvale's early return likely has something to do with this visitor. Who could it be, I wonder? Now then, where is Arendelle? Hmm. I'm worried that it's not playing the game audio. Even though I have it up. Is it not? Is it not picking it up? Hmm. Hold on a sec. Hmm. Oh, maybe it switched it. Hold, hold on a sec. Okay, now it's picking it up. Sorry about that, but, you know, this is the first voice cut scene, so at least I caught it now, right? Wink, wink. <laughs> okay. I chanced upon some commissioned items at my destination, so I thought I might deliver them. Where did you go, if I may ask? The New World. Tural. You went to Tural? Then the person who you wish to introduce... Aye, she hails from there. I present to you... 
<laughs> but it seems you've lost her. Indeed. Did she wander off? <laughs> <sighs> sorry, sorry. It's just so different here. I can't help but want to explore. Well, while you were exploring, your candidate came to us. This is her, the adventurer you crossed the seas to meet. Ooh, you weren't exaggerating. It's plain she's no ordinary woman. I'm Wutlamat, claimant to the throne of Tulihuela. Hello. <laughs> So far, so cute. I like her face. Tuli Yolo. Tuli Yolala. It's Tural's governing nation. The capital bears the same name. I'll get to the point. I want you to come with me to my homeland. I love how big and beautiful her eyes are. She's so cute! Given the magnitude of the request, perhaps you should explain why you're making it? <laughs> of course, of course. Soon, an event of great import will be held in Tural. The rite of succession, taking the form of a contest it will determine who next ascends the throne. As daughter to its present keeper, I will participate. And I have every intention of winning. <laughs> I was searching for champions to join me when Aaronville told me about you. A mighty warrior who knows no fear, who sweeps aside terrible fiends as if they were reeds, who flew to the edge of existence and saved our star. <laughs> she asked who Eorzea's greatest hero was, and so I told her. Much more elegantly, I might add. <laughs> Thank you, nonetheless. Now you know why. You'll come to Toral, yes? Wait, let's all just slow down. Wuklamat, was it? You claim to be of the royal family. But is it not the Mamulja who rule in Tural? Tuli Hyolal is a nation of many peoples. Not only the Mamulja, as some across the seas are quick to assume. That said, its present ruler is a Mamulja, and one blessed with two heads besides. He's also my father. Not by blood, obviously. But he raised me as his own, and that's what matters. Yeah, I figured she was adopted. Not that that's a bad thing. So that is the way of it. My apologies if I was indelicate. Oh, Grawa, you look so cute doing that with your ears. Hardly. I know little <laughs> about your land and nothing about your parentage. <laughs> Just see her smack him on the back so hard. That was funny. Ah, but in my eagerness, I've gotten ahead of myself. I can't expect you to agree on this spot when we've only just met. Ah, uh, now the logic arrives. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Just know, though, that if it's adventure you seek, you could do far worse than come with me. Hmm. No, this is only a rumor. But apparently, the contest will involve the fabled city of gold and the legendary beast, Valiarmanda. Valiarmanda. Tell me that doesn't pique your interest. Aw, she looks cute like that too. I like that. I hope I hope the the character ones can look as nice. I know sometimes they give like special attention to the NPCs. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say I've heard about it. Golden City, I've heard about it before. So the tales have reached even these shores. <laughs> I can't help but feel proud. I advise you not to put much store by these rumors. Golden Cities are not but a dreamer's fancy. Says the dreamer who was bent on finding one when he was a child. Just because you failed doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Oh, that's harsh. <laughs> Tuli Yolal and the Golden City. Just like in the letter to Grandfather. Regardless of what the contest may entail, it'll be no simple thing. If I'm to triumph, I'll need capable and dependable companions. So let's go on a hunt together. There's no better way to get acquainted. Okay. What are you wanting to hunt? That's the long and short of it. At the very least, I ask that you go on this hunt of hers and take her measure for yourself. So where to for our hunt? The stronger the prey, the better. <laughs> A journey to Tyrone. to see not only Tyrol, but the fabled Golden City besides. This is the stuff of grand adventures, my friend. Which is not to say you should hastily accept this invitation, mind. There's still a great deal we do not know. So let us begin to rectify that by first getting acquainted with our visitor in the manner she suggests. Okay. certain what might be a suitable location for her hunt, however. The Rathos? When I was at the guild earlier, I learned about a petition from researchers on the Isle of Hans. You went there not long ago and called some unruly fauna, of course, but according to recent reports, other ordinarily docile fauna have grown savage. It's believed they've been unsettled by some manner of predator, and so the researchers seek assistance with identifying and dispatching it. As part of your hunt, perhaps you might answer the petition? One second... Far, and we would also be helping those in need. That works for me. Just so you know, I've honed my skills against some of the fiercest beasts in Tarad. Whatever this creature is, it better be able to put up a proper fight, or it'll end before we have the chance to get acquainted. Those capable and dependable companions. My apologies, but I must see to some preparations. I go on ahead to the aisle. I will join you as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. 
If the rest of you are ready, let us head to the harbor. This being guild ship business, it should be simple enough to secure a vessel. Okay. Solo. Solo instance. We have the loan of a ship from one of the captains, a cheery fellow. I can operate the vessel, so we don't need the trouble him to take us. Carl is acting a little strange, don't you think? This is just a simple hunt. I wonder what preparations she needs to make. Ooh, is she gonna is she gonna help? Wink, wink. From here, we must walk. So much ice. It rivals even Yoktural. Ooh, a white bear. I wonder what it tastes like. <laughs> Don't eat the polar bears. Remember. We're here to deal with creatures that have been deemed an unacceptable danger. Do not attack anything else unprovoked. I know. I know. So this is the isle where Aether literally bursts forth. Aye, the Isle of Harm. The geysers lie deep inland, however. I can't help seeing that and thinking Isle of Ham. It just seems like a joke. You really are knowledgeable. Kona told me nothing about this place. Juana? I doubt your brother managed to come out this way. He's like to have toured facilities like Labyrinthos, however. Oh, he's a male Hrothka. The great big cavern under the city. It's amazing that they could make a sky down there complete with a sun. This brother of yours, 
He has been to Charlian. He has. Kona's my second older brother. And until recently, he was a student in the city. He went on and on about technological amusements. He made me want to come here too one day. And so I did. I think I understood something of how he felt when I set foot in his beloved studium. He went to the studium? Your brother must be quite a scholar. But I wonder, like you, he'd be royalty, yes? With such a personage coming to Charlian to receive an education would surely have caused a stir, yet I recall nothing of the sort. He consulted with the head of the studium beforehand that his identity might remain secret. Being Mikote, he had no trouble blending in. He's adopted like me, you see. Wait. Wait. One time, though, he almost let it slip to a professor. It was all he could do to parry the barrage of questions. Having no shortage of questions myself, I can imagine. I wonder if Groha knows him, then. Ask whatever you like. I don't mind. But I maintain, hunting together is the best way to get to know someone. The researchers should be up ahead. Let's find them and learn what we can. Search for signs of your prey. The researchers should be just ahead. Okay. There. The building to the northeast. Okay. So ordinarily harmless creatures have grown savage. Don't know what's got them riled up, but I'll take down any that thinks to try me. Right. Let's hunt our fill. He wasn't doing anything. <laughs> Look, someone's in trouble. No. Yeah. Taste my axe. <laughs> These animals like are the usually so docile. I like the cut of your jib. It's not fighting. Like, you would think that the leaner should have to, you know, fight off problems, right? Why is he not fighting? Oh, thank goodness you've come. I take it you're the one who answered our petition. Wait, aren't you? You are Alessandra, the adventurer who saved our star. But then our meeting was under better circumstances. I was conducting a routine inspection of the transporter here when I suddenly found myself surrounded. You'll find more of the same across the chasm. Once docile animals grow strangely aggressive, my colleagues here can tell you more. If you give me just a moment, I can finish checking our equipment. You really are famous! <laughs> And for good reason, as you'll soon see for yourself. <laughs> well, 
let's go. <laughs> Quite an interesting contraption you've got here. Hmm. Is that our petitioner? Let's go and have a chat. You come to answer the petition, you should speak with my colleague here. The adventurer come to answer my petition, I presume? We're most fortunate to have one of your considerable skill here to aid us. A creature of unknown origins has been sighted on the island in recent days, and we believe its presence has affected the local fauna. The animals beyond this gate are the worst affected we've encountered thus far, but we dare not go back. Your task is to quell any threats you find and search for traces of the beast responsible for all this. If you should find anything, Anything at all. We would be most grateful if you would share it with us. Okey I'll handle this. Oh, she's doing a little bit. Hold still. Nice. Very nice. Huh. Is that all? Is that all? Come on. Let's pick up the creature's trail. Claw marks. I've seen their like before. <laughs> it's starting to feel like a proper hunt. These trees are pretty. Tattered plumage. Feathers. But did they belong to the predator or the prey? Good question. So, how do you prefer our prey? Roasted or raw? <laughs> you presume it's even safe to eat? Indeed. Someone went party. Still fresh. Whatever this beast, it cannot be far. for a fight, and they've got one. Let's head back and report what we found. wings and razor sharp talons <laughs> worthy prey <laughs> Just mimicked what you said, my dear. It 
It's heading towards the falls. Yes. I'll stay with the researchers. The creature, I leave to you. Okay. Come, Wuklamat. Right. Just so we're clear, I wasn't startled by the beast earlier. It caught me by surprise, that's all. <laughs> Forgive me, but I failed to see a difference. I'm getting hungry. Let's be done with this so we can eat. <laughs> caught me by surprise! Caught me by surprise! <laughs> <sighs> Think you're clever, huh? I'll rip off that beak and roast you on a spit! I'm going to have the last laugh. Oh, I'm going to enjoy sinking my teeth into you. Such an enormous colibri. I haven't either. Not good. Quickly, gather together. Whoa, 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 whoa. I've got you. Ah! Oh, cool. Thank you. That was too close. Steady now. Girl, huh? You don't have to do that.
Oh. <laughs> that was hardly a tickle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> take out the wing, take out the wing. Come on, take it up. Try this. There you go. Eh, nothing to it. We have you now, you loudmouth bastard! <laughs> You love the bastard! <laughs> Throw everything you have at it! Now here is where you are, the very first! And I had barely limbered up. Are you okay? <laughs> it was a terrible foe, but no match for your axe. Mm -hmm. o only to be expected. You were pretty impressive yourselves. I was right to invite you on a hunt. Uh-oh. Uh, what a curious bird that was. Though we have similar in Tural, they don't grow so big or use such dirty tricks. Uh, dirty tricks? Dirty tricks? Oh, crap. <laughs> Aye, dirty and despicable. Otherwise, I could have easily... Leave this to me! Yeah, girl! How about you? Terribly, terribly sorry to have kept you all waiting. She arrived as I was seeing the researchers to safety. It was all I could do to keep up with her after I explained what happened. <laughs> so this is what you meant by seeing to preparations? After hearing of the contest, I thought how wonderful it would be to join you. In coming here, I wanted to demonstrate my skill at arms to Wuklamat. Alas, it seems I missed most of the action. Oh, it's <gasps> okay. That was amazing! The piece didn't stand a chance! I'm glad to have been of service. Yeah, you came in the nick of time, girl. May I ask what inspired this change? You will recall the time you descended to the Ethereal Sea in search of Hydaelyn. Recognizing that my skills were... <sighs> inadequate, I chose to provide support from afar rather than join you. It was the same when you set forth for Ultima Thule. How it pained me to stay behind, again and again. That's what inspired this change. Ever since the final days were averted, I've used every spare moment to hone my craft. 
as you all have adapted your methods to suit the circumstances, I started by considering how I might best contribute. And after much deliberation, I arrived at my answer. No. With the esoteric art passed down by the legendary Archon Realm, Pictomancy. Legendary Archon Realm, way to go! As I recall, you have embraced versatility to effectively complement a certain someone's style. <laughs> what I do is much the same. Like you, I don't want to be left behind. Oh, Kryo. <laughs> Indeed. Oh, you guys. I must say, you appear to be especially keen on being involved in the Ritual of Succession. Is there any particular reason? Yes, there is. This letter from Tuli Yolal. It was addressed to my grandfather Galuf, and turned up among the students' archives. The ink was faded, so I couldn't fully make out the sender's name. A... Uh, Galul, someone. Jaja. Galul Jaja. That's my father, Idan's servant. What does the letter say? While much of it isn't legible, it appears to be a request to investigate the Golden City. A request to investigate the Golden City? From the Dawn Serent himself? Well, well. Seems it may be more than a rumor after all. Being a member of the royal family, it was my hope that you could confirm the authenticity of this letter. I can say for a fact that my father didn't write this. Was it the, his Given how culturally diverse Toliyolal is, it was decided some time ago that a common language was needed. But instead of elevating an existing tongue, and its speakers above all others, we looked to those widely spoken overseas and created an altogether new one. The similarities to your common tongue also make it quite easy to communicate in these situations, no? This letter, however, is entirely in Eorzean. If father had written this, he would have been in Turali. And what's more, it bears a wax seal. We don't bother with them. So the letter is fraudulent, then? Oh, I didn't mean to say that. My father's signature is genuine, as far as I can tell, so... ...perhaps he simply dictated it. Hmm. I see. Oh, thank you for the confirmation. It seems my grandfather indeed had dealings with Tuli Yolal. I can't help but be curious as to what exactly he was doing there. In order to help us decide on a course of action, would you mind if I asked you some questions about your home? By all means. After all, learning about one another was the purpose of this hunt. Mm -hmm. We can talk while feasting on this fellow. I, for one, am starving. We're eating... that. <laughs> Thanks to Wuklamat, we know now... We now know who sent the letter to Grandfather, among other things. But many questions still remain. I understand Crow's feelings all too well, the desire to do one's part. It can be daunting to try and keep up, but nothing will change unless we take the first step. Oh, 
what an exciting hunt that was. And now it's time to savor the reward. With the wildlife pacified then the researchers safe, our task is complete. Let us leave the matter of the colibri meat. For better or for worse, there's really only one place we could take it to here in Shavian. The last stand. Oh, let us see what Dicker could cook up for us. <laughs> take on and cook. It's a famous race if I've ever seen one. How could I get you, Alessandra? Uh, we got some colibri meat. Oh, bird meat from the hunt, you say? Leave it to me. I have just the recipe. It's a new dish I recently learned from some sailors. And for you, Lord, it's on the house. Have as much as you like, you hear? Thank you. But all this talk of food. <laughs> Making me hungry. Come, come. Let's enjoy the bounty of our first outing together. Hmm. I'd heard that Charlayan cuisine was terrible, but this is fantastic. <laughs> What is this? Oh, it smells spicy. Oh, come now. Since when did you become so soft? It's not like we don't have spicy food in Tural, too. According to Dickon, intensely hot dishes have become popular in Razadhan after a traveler ordered a curry with several times the usual amount of spice. So he started offering the same in order to please the growing Harnish population here in Shalian. <laughs> it's nothing. I can't handle! <laughs> your boorish manners reflect poorly on the both of us. I wish you would consider your station. <laughs> I swear, sometimes it feels like you open your mouth only to criticize. Would I be correct in assuming you've known each other for a long time? I think it's Steve since we were little. I beg to differ. She is a long-standing acquaintance. Nothing more. Oh, that's not nice, Saren Bill. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. All this time you were from Tural. Oh, would that I had known sooner. There's so much I'd like to ask. You and everyone else. I've kept it quiet so as to avoid the endless interrogations. Well, if he's going to be a miser, I'll be happy to tell you about our homeland instead. Since ancient times, many peoples have called Tural home, and they've been fighting each other for nearly as long. The fighting finally stopped some 80 years ago, when the reigning Dawn Servant unified the disparate communities and founded a new nation. And that's how Tuliolal came to be. Since then, we've enjoyed an era of uninterrupted peace. 
But my father is getting old, and he wishes to relinquish the throne to a worthy successor. One who can preserve his legacy. Including myself, there are four claimants to the throne. But while we all have the right to participate, one among us cannot be allowed to rule. Hmm. A man who is too ambitious by half. Word of the Garlean Empire's collapse has reached Tural. While most are simply relieved, he sees weakness to exploit and would lead our armies across the seas on a campaign of conquest. What? After everything my father has done to give us peace, he would drag us back into war. I can't allow it. No matter what, I must win this contest. I understand your reasons. But this being an event that will dictate the course of your nation's future, is it appropriate for outsiders like us to be involved? Oh, it's more than appropriate. The Don Servant himself expressly encourages it. The ruler of Tural must navigate the intricacies of myriad cultures, and there's no better way to prove oneself qualified to do so than to work with foreign allies. There. That's why I sought you out. Through our hunt, I've confirmed that you're a warrior of considerable skill, but more importantly, one of good character as well. And so I ask you, will you lend me your strength and help me win the throne of Tuli Hualal? You don't need to decide right this moment. But I will need you if I'm to triumph over the competition. I'll stay here as long as I can while waiting for your answer. In that case, allow us to prepare a room for you at the Baldessian Annex. That's very kind of you. And one more thing. Once we finish eating, would you mind if I took the rest of the meat? <laughs> Judging by Wiklamut's reaction, it appears Tirali cuisine isn't excessively fiery. <laughs> Whether Wuklamat has the makings of a ruler, I couldn't say. But I do know that she deeply, deeply cares for her nation and her people. Whether you choose to help or those is for you and you alone to decide. Think on it well. Now then, it's past time I reported our mission success to the guild ship. I would have done so sooner, except her highness needed to have her royal meal. I shall come by the annex later. Till then. Say we now have a fair grasp of what the mod's situation. <coughs> Still, you've been afforded time to consider her invitation. Why not use it to learn more about Tural? No one on is bound to have some information on the continent. <laughs> Just the thought of burying myself in books is making me feel sleepy. It certainly wouldn't hurt to be better informed. Right. <clears throat> Not only would it help you to make an informed decision, but if you do choose to go, you would be better prepared for what awaits. Come, my friend, let us be off to the archives. <clears throat> Research!
<coughs> like, <coughs> in my opinion, hold on a sec. I'm gonna. Sorry about that. Ugh. Was a bit flimmy and it just had to go now, apparently. <laughs> oh, but in my opinion, before I make a decision like that. I would want to know about the other people that are also going to be competing in this, you know? It's like, is there someone else that maybe it would be better to work together with if the only thing she's worried about is keeping some jerk guy from being a megalomaniac? You know? I don't know her well enough to know she'd be a good leader. She's a good warrior. But I don't know if that equals good leader. Blue covered book. Principles of blue magic and spell acquisition. The origins of blue magic can be traced back to the esoteric practices of the Wallachi, a tribe in the distant continent of Tural. The tribe holds nature in the highest, and in seeking to cultivate a spiritual connection with it, they have learned to harness the power of the wildlife around them. In exchange for teaching them the common tongue, I was permitted to live among them and train in their ways. Those days were some of the most grueling I remember, but they were tremendously rewarding. For instance, I had the privilege of visiting Lapis Canyon, the tribe's sacred grounds. It is so named for the cerulean deposit that wells up to the surface, turning the entire canyon a brilliant blue. Under a shaman's watchful eye, I managed to master the Wallachie's art and make the animal's powers my own. <coughs> As no name existed for it in the common tongue, I took the liberty of naming it Blue Magic. The reason I chose this color, as you will have doubtless gleaned, is for the significant it hold, significance it holds to the Wallachie. I cannot think of a name more fitting to honor the people for whom this noble magic was born. Yay! Oh, there's a vista. gesture was <clears throat> look out that's what History, geography, botany, public archives alone should suffice to provide a solid grounding on Tyrell. Unblemished book. The Eorzean cuisine. A history. It is impossible to adequately discuss Eorzean cuisine without speaking of that land from which many of our modern day staples hail, the far western continent of Tyrell. Ogre pumpkins, ruby tomatoes, even the ubiquitous poputo. These crops and more that regularly grace Eorzean dining tables trace their origins to the New World, as the place is known to most. The tale of this culinary immigration begins in the year 1498 of the Sixth Astral Era, when a Lamincin sailor named Ketanram successfully traversed the Indigo Deep to arrive at the theretofore unknown continent. Ketanram spent several moons exploring inland, in the course of which he encountered the denizens of the sprawling nation of Mamuja. 
He was even granted an audience with their supreme leader, whose confidence he won along with permission to roam freely. Ketaram would learn to ter would return to Tural several times, but during his first expedition, he charted the land and gathered myriad root vegetables and seeds to bring back to Limsa Luminsa. Most notable of these was the Popato, whose ease of cultivation and nutritional value saw it quickly spread to all corners of Eorzea. Produce was far from the only bounty of Ketanran's expeditions to Tural. Many tantalizing recipes, such as the bean field burrito, <laughs> and gripping legends such as that of the Golden City reached our shores by way of his ship. To those outside of Ketanram's circle, Tural largely remains shrouded in mystery, yet its influence on our cuisine cannot be overstated. Many scholars, myself included, would relish the chance to immerse themselves in the culinary culture of that faraway continent. Yum, 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 yum. Definitely gonna need to eat after this. <laughs> Tone. The flora and fauna of Tural. Every land has given rise to unique wildlife, and the continent of Tural is no exception. Yet while some of her creatures have become a familiar sight in Eorzea, many and more exist that are rarely seen this side of the indigo deep. This tome introduces a select variety of species as described in the testimonies of sailors and adventurers. Alpaca. Accustomed to Tural's craggy mountain ranges, this four-legged beastkin has been domesticated for seemingly hundreds, if not thousands of years. Their soft white fleece is highly prized by weavers, while their strong legs and sure-footedness make them capable beasts of burden. Wyver. This ferocious scalekin is native to the dense jungles of Tural. The Mamuja have succeeded in taming them and utilize their prodigious strength for manual labor. Given their immense size and power, it should come as no surprise that the Wyver is also employed as a siege beast. Enemy fortifications cannot long withstand this horned brute's rampage. Valagamanda, or I don't think they do a hard G when she said it before, Valiamanda. Durali folklore holds that this bird-like creature is the mightiest of beasts and the very embodiment of nature's power. Whether it exists beyond myth, however, is uncertain. begin by comparing the geographical characteristics of three great continents and Tyrol. The former stretches from east to west and lies entirely within the northern, northern hemisphere. In contrast, the latter extends to the far reaches of both northern and southern hemispheres, and a difference immediately presents itself in the form of climate variance. Shifts in climate tend to be gentler when moving east and west, but harsher when moving north and south. Owing to this fact, longitudinal migration is far more common in history, whether it be by men, animals, or plants. The case in point is the Elegans, who rose to power in Aldenard before advancing east into Ilspot. Their movement would be mirrored thousands of years later by the Garleans. Meanwhile, although the disparate tribes of Tural waged war with one another for generations, stymied by the climate, none w could make any great headway north or south. Tribes hailing from frozen lands withered beneath the desert sun, while those that thrived in open plains could not pierce dense jungle. Such was the way of it, until the leader of the Mamulja succeeded in bringing the continent under one banner. Given the land's divided history and the reason thereof, one cannot help but be in awe of this feat. Truly, it is a testament 
to the Autarch's greatness. Having perused a wide selection of books relating to Tarawa, you are somewhat better informed about your potential destination. Grahatia will be eager to know what you have discovered. Should you wish to read these books again, speak with the reference page. to your satisfaction, have you? Excellent. While there, were, while there are a few books wholly dedicated to the subject of Tarot, I dare say you found tidbits of useful information scattered here and there. Yep. But come, let's continue this outside. The mammoths do not take kindly to chatter. keen to hear your honest impressions. I couldn't help but notice that we read the very same book on cuisine. I was pleasantly surprised to find references to Tyrol within. Among them, did anything in particular pique your interest? <laughs> I was rather taken with the tale of Kedemon. the renowned laments and explorer who traversed the indigo deep and discovered the unknown west and his accomplishments didn't end there he traveled to all extensively and even forged a friendship with the dawn servant if we were able to meet ketanram what things we could learn alas all of this happened nigh four score years ago he may no longer be alive to tell his tales chance learn aught about the fauna of Tyrol. Given your adventuring background, I expect the topic would interest you. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about the big boy, Vala, Vala Yamanda. Now, why do I get the impression you're imagining pitting your skills against the fell beast? Unfortunately, I found scant details on your would-be prey. One source simply described it as an enormous winged creature with scales hard as steel that rules the skies. I should like to see it with my own eyes, presuming it even exists. I thought I heard familiar voices. Fancy running into the two of you here. Well, well, have some research of your own, do you? Aye, we hope to arm ourselves with knowledge that may benefit the Garlean people. Having forged a new trade agreement with Razatan, they will next look to foster relations with other nations. This includes former Imperial provinces. In view of this, we hope to find hints in history on how neighbors of differing races and ideologies might engage with one another. And what of the two of you? What endeavor brings you here today? This day. Blech. Are we looking up stuff about Tyrell? A nation composed of the disparate peoples of Tyrell. I dare say this is precisely the kind of example we seek. We'd do well to read up on Uliolan ourselves. The contest? Is Alessandra the only one allowed to help Wook Lamont? There was no mention of such restrictions as I recall. On the contrary, Wook Lamont gave us the impression she could have several champions. I know how to make the most of our respite. 
Follow me, Elfino. We have planning to do. Uh, Alice, say wait. It would seem our plans have changed. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> yeah, she wouldn't pass that up. They never could rest on their laurels. Come, let us return to the Annex. It's just, despite all that we've learned, I can't help but feel we've yet to hear the whole story. I agree. What about you, my friend? Are you inclined to accept or refuse Work Lamat's request? I don't blame you. No matter the assurances, it's no simple thing to wade into the midst of a political struggle, and in a foreign land at that. How about this then? Instead of deciding here, go there first and then decide. That makes sense to me, Graha. In the course of seeing new lands and meeting new people, you'll surely find a way forward. That's what adventurers do, is it not? <laughs> Such a journey would be the envy of many a scholar. Distant as it is, Tural remains largely unknown to us, with only meager records to be found in Numenon. The experiences to be had. All the things you might hear, feel, and think. It's enough to stir me to the core. Doesn't have to be just me that goes, Graha. Life is a series of journeys, my friend. And there's no telling what awaits us on the long road. But what's important is to be true to yourself as you walk it. Only then can we hope to be content when we arrive at the end of one and step forward into another. Ah, but there's an idea. I have a matter to attend to at the Agora. Please, go on inside. I will join you shortly. <coughs> hmm. Hmm.
Welcome back, Alessandra. If you're looking for a Wuklamot, she's currently with the others in her chambers. If you like, I could go and fetch them for you. Okay. But just go in there. Understood. Please wait in the main hall. A big A, where's the map? You have the look of someone who's made up their mind. Go on, then. Let's hear it. <laughs> I wish to boldly go where I've never gone before. Hm. Then you need me as much as I need you. Together we'll blaze new trails in Tural. You're not planning to leave without us, are you? <laughs> Alpha no, Alize, what are you two doing here? We happened to cross paths at Numenon earlier, you see, and I told them about Wuklamat. And when we fortuitously met again at the Agora just now, they expressed an interest in meeting our visitor. Ah, you must be the twins who are sneaking after Aaronville as toads. <laughs> A hundred things about us you could have told her, and you chose that. First impressions last. <laughs> It is an honor and a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Your Highness. Alphano Levier at your service, and this is my sister, Alize. Oh no, let's not do that. I really can't stand titles. So, you want to participate in the contest too, is that right? Indeed we do. We've been assisting with the rebuilding effort in Garlemald, yet while progress is being made, the question remains of how the nation might reconcile with its neighbors. We believe there is much we might learn from Tuliolal, a nation founded on unity. And in return for this honor, we would spare no effort in supporting your claim. The more the merrier, I say. And I'd be keen to learn about Eorzea and Garlimald from you as well. Having recruited so many committed and capable allies, I presume you have no need for my continued assistance? <laughs> Nonsense! Like I told you before, you're indispensable. They're strong, aye, but strangers to our land. They need someone to guide them, to point out the dangers and spare them grisly deaths. I can't think of anyone better suited to that task than you. What's more, despite your assertions, I know you haven't given up on this city of gold. Right. <clears throat> As I recall, Kryl, you were the first to state your desire to visit Tural. Perhaps I was. Still, I can't help but worry about being away, just when our order is beginning to find its feet again. You have nothing to worry about. I haven't forgotten how you held the fort while I set off to explore Alzadal's legacy. It's only fair that I return the favor. 
pray. Leave the students to Ojika and me. But Ra. You want to retrace your grandfather's steps, don't you? This is a rare opportunity, and I insist that you seize it. Thank you, Raha. Thank you. Well, looks like it's settled. I'm counting on you all to help me win the throne. I suppose now is a good time to show you what I spent a small fortune on at the Agora. There. This, my friends, is the latest map of the world, created to celebrate our friendship with the Loperitz. Cast your eyes west of Charlian, for there it lies. The site of your next great adventure, Tural. Well, it's a new map. Good out of thank God. Finish the grand endeavor. Hey, cool. Oh, so 
I'm just waiting until the pretty art's done and then I'll skip. I'm sure there's a post credit scene. Ah, uh, Xenos. Just showing screenshots now, so we can skip this. Lest you wonder about your passage to Tural, Anvil will arrange a ship through this through his guild. You need only worry about your own preparations. Speaking of which, please take this with you. A rugged and ready knapsack. <laughs> May it serve you well on your coming adventures. Now, I'm not sure when departure will be, but rest assured I'll let you know when I hear something. Till then, please take your ease. I got a backpack! Meanwhile, in Limsa Lamensa. When does the next ship set sail? May I ask your destination? The north and east, I've already seen. I suppose I'll head west this time. West, you say? See what these two are up to. I see you've made up your mind. I had a feeling you'd be keen. But to think that our comrades too are thither bound. Fate doth work in mysterious ways. Indeed. It will be a grueling task, having to contend with them. If the prospect doth trouble thee, it is not too late to decline the petition. Though thine expression would suggest thou art far from perturbed. <laughs> Oh, how could I possibly be, knowing what's to come? <laughs> then let us delay no further and secure passage on a vessel. Aye, this will be a mission to remember. <laughs> come, my friend. We make for Tarah. <laughs> this is giving me Road to El Dorado vibes there, sick. <laughs> Any moon? Tell me, have you been to the ruins beneath the waters of the Bounty? 
or the treasure islands beyond the frozen waters of blind frost in Offerd's north. The fabled golden cities of the new world. We anchor now and the tide is high, and dawn of new adventure is nigh. Row forth to break Horizon's bond and tread the gilded path beyond. Yay! Take a look at this backpack. Some boots, we got a lantern, a little water bottle. Looks good. That's pretty cool looking. <laughs> I tend to like the wings. The wings. <laughs> <clears throat> I do want to do some more, but I'm hungry. <laughs> and I think this is a, a nice, nice size stream for today. Um, I'm in no rush, so depending on how things go, I might save the Tatru's Grand Endeavor for another stream. I'll let you know. But, uh, as for now, I hope you have a good rest of your day or evening, wherever you are. For those who are watching me live, thanks for being here with me this rainy President's Day. <laughs> um, if you haven't already, please feel free to follow me on my Twitch channel. For those watching the VODs, thank you for checking out my videos. Definitely feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can find out where more videos are available for you to watch. Until then, folks, have a fantastic day. Bye-bye!